Alright, yo guys, Rishon Maku here, and today I am back uh, with a tutorial video actually, and I'm going to be showing you how to install the Fly-By-Wire A320NX plugin for Microsoft Flight Simulator and also the Microsoft Flight Simulator Liveries Mega Pack. Now, the Fly-By-Wire A320NX is kind of like the Zebra mod, in which the Zebra mod massively improved the default 737 with an X-Plane and this mod massively improves the default A320 in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So if you love the A320 this is a must-have plugin. Now links will be in the description to both of these and I'm going to be showing you exactly how to install these. Uh, before we get started please like, subscribe, you know it real, really really will help me. Um, and yeah, there will be many more Microsoft Flight Simulator tutorial videos, plugin showcases, all sorts of stuff coming up. Yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, so we are here. We're in a Google Drive. And first of all, actually, we're going to install the Fly-By-Wire Sim A320NX. So, there will be a link in the description, the first link, to a GitHub. And this is where the where you can download the A320NX. So, you'll come onto this page. Um, there's kind of some installation stuff here and a change log down here. So, what we're going to do is as you can see there's no download button what you have to do is go to code and then download zip now i've already done it uh, i think it's only about half a gigabyte file so what we're going to do is go to wherever you installed it not installed it sorry downloaded it i downloaded it into a microsoft flight simulator mods uh, folder this is an old release right here uh, but this is a newer one so i'm going to be essentially overwriting the old one and updating it but for you guys this will just be your kind of root installation if you've not already installed it before so what we're going to do is let's extract this zip file hopefully it doesn't take too long there we are all right guys so that's finished uh unzipping now we can go to our master folder here uh you guys won't have this, this is my old release so i'll go here click it again so this is some like the GitHub sub, I guess. This is your actual aircraft in here. So what we're gonna do is copy this folder, A32 and X. Copy that. And now we need to go to our Microsoft Flight Simulator community folder, which is kind of like the installation folder for all your plugins and stuff like that. So to find this, we can go to run down here and click app data. So here, once you have run, type in a percentage sign, then app data, and then another percentage sign. And that will open a file explorer and it'll take you to app data. Now if you go to your users and then try and find app data, for some reason it doesn't show up. This is the only way I can get to it. Um, so anyway, here you will see Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can click on that. This is your you know, Microsoft, Microsoft Flight Simulator root installation folder. And I think it's worth saying I bought Microsoft Flight Simulator on Steam and I am pretty sure that this folder is in the same place even if you bought it on uh, the Windows Store. Okay, so next we go to Packages and we have two folders. Official, this is all of Azobo's official stuff, so, you know, all their handcrafted airports, all their planes and everything. We're not interested in that. We need to go to the community folder, which is where you're going to install all your plugins. Now, for you guys, this will probably be empty if you've not installed any plugins or aircraft or liveries or anything. Uh, so there is here an old release of the livery mega pack, and this is also an old release of the A320. But what I'm going to do is just copy and paste that. And you can see it's asking me to replace files because this is an old version. So yes, I'll replace. For you, it shouldn't do that since it's your first time installing this. And there you go. That's now updated. Next, let's uh, install our livery mega pack. So we can go back to our browser, and the second link in the description will be to this Google Drive here. Okay, now these 
are not in use yet. These uh, folders, they're just empty. Okay, we have our liveries here. And as you can see, we have liveries for a lot of different aircraft. So if I just go to uh, A320, for example, by the way, these A320 liveries will work with this A320 NX by fly by wire. So as you can see, we have so many different um, liveries here. And now if you wanted, you can pick and choose which ones you wanted and just put them in that folder. Now I'm just going to install all of them. Okay. So we can go back here, back, and there's all in one pack. Okay. So there's all in one zip. Now I don't know what these alternates are. You'll have to look that up, but I just did all in one zip. So all you do is right click, download, and it'll come up with a thing saying that it's like 2.4 gigs. Therefore drive cannot scan it for viruses. I assure you there's no viruses in this folder. You can just download it. Uh, it will take a couple of minutes. It's a fairly large folder. And you'll be left with, let me find it, with this folder here, all in one zip. Again, this is not released there. So you won't have that, ignore that. Now what we can do, this is a pretty big uh, folder. We're gonna extract that right here. Now I'm just using the default kind of Windows extractor. And there you go, it's like 12 gigs. So I'm gonna let this extract and I'll be back in two minutes and 45 seconds. Guys, we're back and it has finished extracting. So now we can delete this zip file. Yeah, delete. And we are left with all in one. Okay, this is all of the um, liveries right here. Just like that. So now what we're gonna do is click Control A, Control C. So Control A is highlighted everything in this folder and then Control C is copying it all. And we're gonna go back to our community folder. Okay, what I'm actually gonna do is quickly delete these so it doesn't start bugging out. Again, you won't have to do this since you won't have them. Come on, there we go. And paste all of that in there. Again, big folder. Oh, it's actually going to do it somewhat quickly. Yeah, all right, I'll see you in a minute, guys. All right, guys, I'm back, and it has finished putting all of these liveries. Yeah, oh, my God, that's a lot. Into our community folder. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up Microsoft Flight Simulator, and let's see if it has worked. It should have. See you in a bit, guys. All right, guys, so we are in Microsoft Flight Simulator right now. And yeah, we're just in the main menu and now I'm going to show you that all the liveries are installed and then I'm going to go into a quick flight and show you how you can check that the flood by wire A320 and X is properly installed. So first of all, we can go to uh, my hangar and here is the Airbus. Now exterior wise, it actually looks the same or similar. Um, so look, as you can see here are all deliveries we have so many here all of them uh, you can go ahead and check it for other aircraft as well so if I go to uh, change aircraft and I pick the pick the 787 okay and we'll just let that load alright guys it's loaded uh, and again here we have all our liveries here so we have a British Airways livery here let's go and let's check that out Again, we'll let that load. Right, looks like we're loaded. And here we are. And you can see delivery is installed. It's looking amazing. So now what we're going to do is check that the fly by wire A320 and X is properly installed. So let's just start up a flight. And what you can do is pick any airport. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to pick my home airport. Uh, and I'm gonna set a ramp and that is because I want to start cold and dark okay uh, let's pick a320 where is it now it won't be a separate aircraft it just kind of updates the default aircraft so here you won't be able to see much difference okay so that's selected and let's go into this flight I will see you at East Midlands Airport Alright guys, here we are at East Midlands Airport. As you can see, I forgot to uh, <laughs> set a livery just 
on default. That's my bad. Now I will show in the actually it looks like it's already worked. It's already done that, hasn't it? If I just what Oh. That's new, that must be in the new uh patch. Yeah, here you are. So it's already it seems to have automatically started using liveries for uh, ground traffic by the looks of it which is really good before you had to do you had to uh, kind of do something else with the code i believe it was uh, but that seems to be working here we have a jet blue uh, that looks just like a default what is that look at that nose wow <laughs> okay uh what else do we have yeah, we've got some liveries here. Lovely TBM. What have we got here? Ooh, Valaris. Very nice. Let's go back to my aircraft. Here we are. And Golden Arc. So normally, um, normally when you start the, uh, turn the batteries on, these panels will come on kind of instantly. What they actually do is they come up with like a loading screen. So let's check it out. And turn on the external power and you can see here we have self test which is great that means that it is working for some part now I'm not that means yeah it should be working which is pretty cool I believe these are now operable there we are set them to nav and yeah a lot more th uh, different kind of things are operable like these are now seems to be operable you know they weren't operable before these are now operable, which I believe we weren't operable before. But yeah, really, really great. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'm not going to start the aircraft. But yeah, that is it. So this aircraft, it just looks amazing. Look at Microsoft Flight Sim. Such a nice sim. And I'm getting a decent 44 frames here. When I start the aircraft up and all the systems come online, it will drop to around 30, roughly. But yeah, it's looking good. Uh, yeah, please like, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one, guys. See ya.